Hi there, my name's Chris, and on behalf of Argyle Pride, I'd like to welcome you to Home Park, the home of Plymouth Argyle. Today we're going to be talking to a few players about the issue of homophobia in football, but before we get into it, I'd like to thank the manager, Derek Adams, and Plymouth Argyle themselves for allowing us to take part in this project. Enjoy the video. I do agree, I, I do think it's it's going to a certain extent, obviously you do hear stuff from the crowd. I think when I used to play years ago, I think they'd be a lot more sort of showered in from the sides. Um, change room wise, I, I don't see that being, I said it again, like really I think it was a sort of a, an older mentality, things where I don't feel that it's like that anymore, especially not in our dressing room. Really. Problem. It wouldn't be a problem for myself, but I understand it's a it's a delicate area and something that maybe people do hide. So if there are, if that is in football, which I'm sure it is, um, people don't tend to come forward with it. Obviously, football being a so called macho sort of sport, um, people don't tend to come out and say about it. Which I, I think I think it's changing. I do I do think there's obviously you're starting to get a number of players that are coming out, but it's it's not something that I. It, it wouldn't be frowned upon, it would probably be, I think it would be accepted like anything really now. I don't see that being a, in a problem, especially not in our direction. I, I honestly, for me personally, so I, don't, I don't speak for anyone, everyone, but me personally, it, it wouldn't be a problem to me. I said if um, it's about the player in terms of what they can do for us on the pitch. And if there's no difference between a gay player or a straight player, then it, it, it really is. It, it really wouldn't matter um, in terms of that. It's just it's just purely on on what they could bring to the team. And then I said, they definitely wouldn't be turned away for it. Or I said, I said it would be fair play to them. I said everyone's everyone's got their own preferences. And, Believing they want to believe and everyone's free to do what they want to do, so I personally would, I, I wouldn't have a problem with it. I agree with um, what Kaz, Kaz just said, to be fair. Um, I've had no no experiences with playing with someone who's, um, who's gay, um, but um, obviously, if I was a player who used to come in, either when I was when I was 18 or within the 23s nowadays, you know, there'd be no, no, um, no queries or anything that you would be accepting like, like any other. At the end of the day, like Plaster said, it's about what you do on the football pitch, really for us. So, you, you know, it's the same as any other player. Probably just imagine it was yourself that was getting the same sort of things said to you. Um, yeah, well, it wouldn't be nice, would it, if you were putting their shoes and you were getting thousands of fans shout the stuff at you personally. I just think I think everyone should be mindful because you, you, you don't know what someone's going through. I said an an innocent shout from the crowd might might be innocent to the person that shouts it but it might mean a lot more to someone who's who takes it to heart and said so no one knows what everyone's going through so I think obviously People are going to shout stuff, it's fair enough, but I think they should, obviously they should, they should just have that in their heads and be careful what they say. Um, I'd say, yeah, just speak to people, I reckon. Just um, speak to people about your choices and they'll understand you better, rather than hiding it, keeping it to yourself. No, I agree with Cam. Um, if you speak to someone, you know, it, it, you, uh, they're going to accept you. And I'm going to turn you away. The, the game of football isn't about whether you, whether you're gay or straight. It's about, like I said, if you can play football, you're playing for the enjoyment of it. Everyone's accepting everyone. Um, obviously, if you do speak to people and you feel comfortable with coming out, um, it will probably make it make it easier for yourself and for your for your teammates. You know, um, you'll be able to enjoy the game more. And instead of building up all that pressure inside of you. Which could, in the end, it could affect your game. It could affect your game. So, um, yeah, definitely, you can always speak to people. Always speak to people. Yeah, I think it's very important for it's a group where people can 
talk to each other and um, understand each other's feelings and everything. Um, people who don't quite understand um, the gay, straight sort of thing, and people say we like handling comments at the games and stuff. We might go on that group and we might change their opinions and views. So I think it's yeah, a good platform to to help improve. I just think, like, obviously, by having a group, it shows that um, so we're in support of that. I said, um, and I think that's important. For, um, I said, the gay community to know that we, we do support them, so it's not something they shouldn't be alienated. And this is football, we're not allowed near football or certain things. I said, I said, we're all human at the end of the day. I said, like, I said, no one's. I said, I think, I think it's a, a great thing to have. I think if, if it's something that people can log on and realise that, yeah, that there are openly gay people who are supporting this and we've got a group for this, I said, it's. It's great because it, it shouldn't be sectioned away from anyone. It's open to everyone.